Hi! Welcome back to Solve It with Sir Jude. Today we will be discussing about finding the equation of a quadratic function given the table of values. So last time we talked about quadratic function and its properties as well as its graph. So but today we are going to determine or find the equation of quadratic function given the table of values. So let us have example number one. So if we are given with this kind of table that shows a quadratic function, it shows a quadratic function because if we are going to get the second difference, we will find out that they are all common. So the first step is to choose any three points or ordered pairs, then substitute each of them in the standard form of quadratic function given by y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So any ordered pairs will do. Kahit alin dyan, ang iyong piliin will have the same answer. In this example, let us use these three points. So the first point is negative 1 comma negative 2. Second is 0 comma negative 4. And the third is 1 comma negative 4. So we will be substituting each of these points in y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So how are we going to do that? Let us use step number 2. Step number 2, we need to solve for the values of A, B, and C. That is our main target to determine the values of A, B, and C in the standard form y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c using your lesson, one of your lessons during your grade 8 systems of linear equations either by substitution or elimination. But in this video, we will only use elimination as a way of solving those unknown variables. So, in this point or in this ordered pair, the value of x is negative 1 and y is negative 2. So, we need to substitute each one of them to the quadratic function in standard form. So, that will be negative 2 is equal to a times quantity negative 1 squared plus b times negative 1 plus c. And if we are going to um, simplify this equation, we will obtain negative 2 is equal to a minus b plus c. And this will be our equation number 1. So next, after substituting the values of x and y in the first ordered pair, let us go in the second. We will just follow the same procedure. Sa substitute lang natin yung x and y doon sa mismong standard form. So same procedure, that will, that will be negative 4 is equal to a times 0 squared plus b times 0 plus c. So substituting and simplifying, we will now have negative 4 is equal to c. So 0 squared is 0, 0 times a, that will be 0. Same with this one, b times 0, that will be 0. So therefore, by symmetric property, we can say that c is equal to negative 4. And if you can see, ang main target nga natin is to um, solve for the values of a, b, and c. And in this case, we are already uh, given with the first answer, which is c is equal to negative 4. So the only task that we are assigned will be finding the values of a and b since maritime value is c. So next, so this will be equation number 2. For the third ordered pair, we will be substituting again. So that will become negative 4 is equal to a times 1 squared plus b times 1 plus c. Bakit naging negative 4? Because the value of y is negative 4. Why is it 1 here? Because the value of x is 1. We just need to substitute. Then, if we are going to simplify, 1 squared is 1, 1 times a is a. Then b times 1, that will be b. So therefore, the third equation is given by negative 4 is equal to a plus b plus. As what we've said a while ago, we are already given with the value of c, which is negative 4. We just need to substitute um, the value of c to equations 1 and 3. So that ang matitira sa atin will be a and b. Okay? So the first equation, if we are going to substitute, that will become negative 2 is equal to a minus b plus negative 4. Positive times negative, that will be, become negative. So that will be negative 2 is equal to a minus b minus 4. Then, um, applying your addition property of equality by adding positive 4 to both sides of the equation, we will now obtain 2 is equal to a minus b. Okay? So this will be our new equation 1. So next, do naman tayo sa kabila, equation number 3, substituting negative 4 to c. So it will become negative 4 is equal to a plus b plus negative 4. Okay? So simplifying this, positive times negative will be negative. 
So that will be negative 4 is equal to a plus b minus 4. Then by adding 4 to both sides of the equation, therefore, the new equation number 3 will be 0 is equal to a plus b. So the next thing that we should do is to use elimination as a way of solving this system. So, alin ba yung una natin pwede ditong ma-cancel? So, if we are going to add the two equations, negative b plus positive b, that will be 0. So, mas madaling i-eliminate si b. So, i-add natin so that we can eliminate b at the same time we can solve for the value of a. So, 2 plus 0, that will be 2, is equal to 2a. So, a plus a, that will be 2a. Then, negative b plus positive b, that will be 0. By symmetric property, we now have 2a is equal to 2. And by dividing both sides by 2, the value of a is equal to 1. So, we already have the two uh, values of the missing variables a and c. The next thing is to find or solve for the value of b. How are we going to solve? We will be using either of the two equations. Equation 1 or equation 2 can be used. So in this case, let us use equation 2. So we just need to substitute the value of a. The value of a here is 1. So that will be 0 is equal to 1 plus b. Then by addition property, we now have negative 1 is equal to b. So therefore, the value of b is equal to negative 1. After solving for the values of a, b, and c, the next step is to substitute the values of a, b, and c to the standard form of the quadratic function. So the standard form is given by y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So substituting the values, so a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 4. Positive times negative, that will become negative. Positive times negative again will be negative. So therefore, the final answer will be y is equal to x squared minus x minus 4. So this actually is an equation or a standard form of the quadratic function. But if we are, if you are asked to, to transform this one in vertex form using the methods that we had in the previous video, you will find out that the vertex form will just be y is equal to the square of x minus 1 half minus 17. So let us now check if our answer y is equal to x squared minus x minus 4 is correct. So the value of a that we've got is a equals 1. It is a positive number so we assume that the parabola opens upward. So using GeoGebra application, let us graph y is equal to x squared minus x minus 4. So this will be the graph. If you can see the opening of the graph is correct and related to the value of a that we've got. So the next thing that we should check are these points in the table of values found on the parabola. So let us check. Negative 2, comma 2. So this is negative 2, comma 2. Negative 1, comma negative 2 is also here. 0, comma negative 4. 1, comma negative 4. And 2, comma negative 2. So if you can see all the points found in the table of values, are included or also found on the graph of the quadratic function. So therefore, our equation is correct. So let us now proceed with example number two. So how about if we are given with this table of values? So we will still be using the same step. So the first step is to choose any point or ordered pairs, then substitute each of them in the standard form of the quadratic function, y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So what are the points that we are going to use? You can choose any. But in this example, let us choose these three points. Okay? So the first point is 2, 3. The second is 3, 0. And the third is 4, negative 5. So substituting it to the standard form, y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, what will be the result? So let us have it one by one. Okay. So upon substitution, we will be solving those values of a, b, and c by using the systems of linear equations. So let us substitute the first ordered pair 2, 3. The, the value of x is 2 and the value of y is 3. Substituting, we have 3 is equal to a quantity 2 squared plus b times 2 plus c. 2 squared is 4. 4 times a, that will be 4a. b times 2, that will be 2b. So therefore, the first equation is 3 is equal to 4a plus 2b plus c. Then, let us go to the second ordered pair. 
So we are given with 3, 0. The value of x is 3 and the value of y is 0. Again, we need to substitute in the standard form. Thus, we have 0 is equal to a times quantity 3 squared plus b times 3 plus c. 3 squared is 9. 9 times a, that will be 9a. Then, b times 3, that will be 3b. Therefore, equation number 2 will be 0 is equal to 9a plus 3b plus c. Next, for the third ordered pair, 4 comma negative 5, substituting each of the values, that will be negative 5 is equal to a times quantity 4 squared plus b times 4 plus c. 4 squared is 16. 16 times a, we have 16a. b times 4, we have 4b. So therefore, the equation number 3 will be negative 5 is equal to 16a plus 4b plus c. So if you can see, wala tayong nakuhang value ng mismong variable. So we will be using solving systems of linear equation using elimination. Let us eliminate c or the variable c using equations 1 and 2. There. So if we are going to subtract the equations, c minus c, that will become 0. Same with equations 2 and 3. If we are going to subtract them, we will eliminate the variable c. So let us first have equation equations 1 and 2. Okay, so there. So if we are going to subtract equations 1 and 2, we will change the sign of the subtrahend. All the terms here will change the sign. So this 3 will become negative. Same with this 4a, 2b, and c. So that will become negative 3 is equal to negative 4a minus 2b minus c. Then we proceed with addition. So that is the rule in subtraction. We need to change the sign of the subtrahend, then proceed to addition. So 0 plus negative 3, that will be negative 3 is equal to 9a plus negative 4a will be 5a. 3b plus negative 2b, that will be positive b. Then c plus negative c will be 0. So therefore, negative 3 is equal to 5a plus b will be our equation number 4. So if you can see, we are already narrowing down the equations by eliminating certain variable. So let us use equations 2 and 3. And let us eliminate C by subtracting again. So we will be changing the sign of the terms in the subtrahend. So therefore, we have 0 is equal to negative 9A minus 3B minus C. Then, after changing the sign of the, the terms in the subtrahend, we will be proceeding with addition. Negative 5 plus 0 will be negative 5 is equal to 16A plus negative 9A will give us 7A. Then 4B plus negative 3B, that will become positive B. Then C plus negative C will be 0. Therefore, equation 5 will be negative 5 is equal to 7A plus B. Okay. So next, we can eliminate B to get the value of A. How are we going to eliminate the value of B? So let us use equations 4 and 5. And if you can see, if we are going to subtract the equations, we can cancel or eliminate B. So let us do that. Let us apply subtraction. Again, we need to change the sign of the terms in the subtrahend. So that will become 5 is equal to negative 7a minus b. Then, after changing the sign of the terms in the subtrahend, we will be proceeding with addition. So negative 3 plus 5, that will be positive 2, is equal to 5a plus negative 7a will give us negative 2a. b plus negative b will be 0. And by symmetric property, this equation, 2 equals negative 2a, will be negative 2a is equal to 2. Then we divide both sides by negative 2. Therefore, the value of a is negative 1. So we now solve for the value of a, which is equal to negative 1. Next, let us solve for the value of b. How are we going to solve for the value of b? We will be substituting the value of a to either equation 4 or equation 5. So let us use equation 5 or negative 5 is equal to 7a plus b to solve for the value of a. So substituting the value of a here, we will now obtain negative 5 is equal to 7 times negative 1 plus b. Then 7 times negative 1 will be negative 7. Then applying our addition property, so that will become negative 5 plus 7 
Negative 5 plus 7, that will be 2. And by symmetric property, B is equal to 2. You can actually use equation 4 in getting the value of B by substituting the value of A. Okay? We will still be arriving with the same uh, value of B. So next, after getting the values of A and B, the next thing is to find the value of C. How are we going to find the value of C? We will use equation 1, 2, or 3 by substituting the values of A and B. Let us use equation number 1. So 3 is equal to 4A plus 2B plus C. And if we are going to substitute the value of A and B, we will now obtain 3 is equal to 4 times negative 1 plus 2 times 2 plus C. Then 4 times negative 1 will be negative 4. 2 times 2, that will be 4. Negative 4 plus 4, that will be 0. So therefore, 3 is equal to 0 plus C. So therefore, we will now have 3 is equal to C, which is by symmetric property, C is equal to 3. So after getting the values of A, B, and C, next step is to substitute the values of A, B, and C to the standard form of the quadratic function given by Y is equal to AX squared plus BX plus C. So substituting the values of A, B, and C, the value of A is negative 1. The value of B is 2, and the value of C is 3. Simplifying this function further, we can now say that it is just equivalent to y is equal to negative x squared plus 2x plus 3. And if you are asked to find the vertex form, so this is the vertex form, y is equal to negative of the square of the binomial x minus 1 minus 4. So, since the value of a is a negative number, so therefore, we assume that the graph opens downward. Okay? So, let us check the graph. So, using GeoGebra, there is the graph. But, are these points part of this graph? So, let us find out. So, 1, 4 is here. This is actually the vertex. Then, 2, 3 is also here. 3, 0 is also here, 4, negative 5 is there, and then the last one is 5, negative 12. So therefore, our equation y is equal to negative x squared plus 2x plus 3 is correct. So I hope that you've learned something for today about finding the equation of a quadratic function given the table of values. If you've learned something for today, do not forget to like. Share. So if you are new in our channel, please subscribe. So the next video lesson will be all about finding the equation of a quadratic function given the graph. So this is Sir Jude. Good day.